Hi, good morning my dear sweethearts. Praise be Jesus Christ. How are you? All of you welcome to our catechism class. As usual, we are starting our class with a prayer. Please stand in your prayer position. Name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh my God, kindly bless us to fill with divine wisdom, knowledge, and faith. Make me a channel of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me bring your love. Where there is injury or pardon more, and where there's not true faith in you. Make me a channel of your peace, where there's despair in life, let me bring home. Where there is darkness, only love, and where there's sadness, ever joy. Please sit down. Do you remember what you have studied in last class? Right, we have started our third chapter. So, what is the name of our chapter, my dears? Yeah, the paradise lost through sin. The paradise lost through sin. Right. What you learn in the in this chapter? One day, God came to visit paradise to see Adam and Eve. Then what happened? When sinful Adam and Eve heard of God's footsteps, they were afraid and hide among the trees. Right? So God punished them for their disobedience. My dear children, does God like disobedience? No, never. Is it? So, let us grow up to be obedient children. Adam and Eve were driven out from paradise and lost all their happiness. But the merciful God promised them a savior. God is a loving father. He does not despair sinners. So far we have learned in the last class. When we sin, we turn away from God. God hurt so much when we sin. If you lost a toy in your hand, you will not search for it. Yes, you will search until you get it back. Likewise, God will Come to us in search of us. He will save us from sin and have mercy on us. Let us try to stay close to God, free from sin. Let us pay attention to this portion in our textbook. When we sin, we go away from God. God is pained when we turn away from Him. But God comes in search of us. He shows us mercy. He saves us from sin. Let us turn away from sin and stand united with God. Dear children, we have completed our chapter. I am leaving the song in this lesson. Today I am giving an assignment. Find out the answers and complete the knot. Okay? These are the questions. Who came to the garden of Eden to see Adam and Eve? Second one. Why were Adam and Eve afraid to face God? Third one. Where did Adam and Eve hide? Fourth one. What did Adam and Eve experienced when they sinned. What clothes did 
Adam and Eve made to wear. Why did God feel sad? Why did God punish Adam and Eve? What did God promise Adam and Eve? Okay, eight questions I am giving to you to write the answer. Okay, here is an activity for you. Find out the right path. Yes, you are in the middle. In one side, one Satan standing. Then the other side, Jesus is there. Okay. You find how you will go near to Jesus. Okay. Find out. Here is another activity for you. Um, choose from the word bag. Choosing words from the word bag. Write words that denote things of God in the left column and the things of Satan in the right column. Complete this activity also. Okay. Then let us remember the word of God. Let us remember the word of God. The Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. Psalms chapter 100 verses 5. Once again, the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. Psalms chapter 100 verses 5. Please by heart this. Okay children. Now we are going to take a pledge from this chapter. Okay. Show your right hand. Just as God is merciful to me, I will show mercy to all. Or if you repeat, just as God is merciful to me, I will show mercy to all. Okay, children. You also show mercy to all. Okay. In this chapter also, we have a um, good practice. Practice good deeds. Always respect parents, priests, sisters, teachers and elders. Always respect parents, teachers, priests, uh, sisters and elders. Will you do children? Okay. Let us hear 10 commandments. 10 commandments. I am the Lord your God. You shall not have any other God beside me. Do not take the name of God in vain. Remember to keep the Sabbath full. Honor your mother and father. Do not kill. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife. You shall not covet your neighbor's goods. Thank you. Okay. These ten commandments are summarized in two commandments. Love God above all things. Love your neighbors as yourself. Love God above all things. Love your neighbors as yourself. Place by heart these also. Okay my dear children. Let's wind up our class. 
please you do your activities and assignment okay then send to your class teacher please stand up for the prayer dear lord we thank you because you promised to send us the savior our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread forgive our sins as we forgive those who trespass us against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Okay, my dear children. Bye. See you in the next class.